And here we are, folks, back here in the hallway at Rocky Mount High yes. School. Fike an 80-77 winner tonight over the Griffons wow. here in the Griffon Dome, Ed. Uh, on the all-new all sports show or the Krispy Kreme post-game show. Yes. Big thanks to Krispy Kreme. Our other sponsors as well, Golden Corral, your scoreboard sponsor. Mm-hmm. Joiner's Funeral Home, your free throw sponsor. Yes. Joiner's Funeral Home got a lot of play tonight, Ed. That yes. was a very physical <laughs> Uh, tightly called ball game. Over 40 fouls combined in the game. We had multiple guys in free, uh, foul trouble as the game wore on, uh, especially both of Fike's big men, mm-hmm. Mike Wong Gooding and Samson. Samson unfortunately fouled out, but again, you, we talked about it with Coach Seacrest. What a game this young man had tonight. Absolutely. And as he said, only a sophomore. Yes. That young man has a big future ahead of him, did a great job. But right, the future is now for the yes. fight Golden Demons. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they've had a rough stretch, but the thing is, everybody in the Big East has had a rough stretch yes. this year. So as we said, they control their own destiny going through, folks. If mm-hmm. they sweep next week, they will be at the least. A share of your conference champions. And with a win over Hunt, they can knock Hunt out of that conference title Mm -hmm. picture. Um, Rocky Mount, on the other hand, Ed, uh, we knew this was going to be a year of rebuilding for Mike Ganey. When you lose the three big pillars that he lost from a year ago and don't replace it literally with any size, Mm -hmm. that makes life tough on the basketball court. And we saw what happened first half, hitting shots, playing great defense, doing all the little things. That's what helped build them an 11-point lead at the half. And then once you got cold, you have nothing to fall back on for Rocky Mount. We see these great college teams like Virginia, Kentucky, Gonzaga. They're so efficient on both ends. If one half is taking the night off, the other half can pick up the slack. Rocky Mount doesn't have that. If their shooting takes the night off, they're done. Well, even closer to home, the last six years at Rocky Mount, you saw that True. because they always had size yes. plus good guard play. Yes. This year, the guard play has been very good, mm-hmm. but you know nothing against the inside guys because they're they're giving you a heck of an effort, as we saw mm-hmm. tonight from uh, Sherrod Green, Artavius Richardson, yes. Amir Pittman. They're giving you a heck of an effort, but you can't teach them to be nope. taller than 6'2", nope. and that's about where Rocky Mount's stuck right now is yeah. at 6'2", on the inside. When you run out fight, Jeremy Phillips is 6'5". Uh, Samson, 6'4", 6'5". Mike Wong Gooding is 6'6". Rocky Mount could not match up with that size. And in the second half, that spelled the eventual doom of the Rocky Mount Griffons. And that's what uh, Rocky Mount's just going to unfortunately run into, I think, the rest of the way. If a team has size and they know how to exploit it, they're just going to be in trouble. Folks, next week we will originate... Here. Right back here, Yeah, we're we're not leaving. At the Griffon Dome. Uh, Second um, rivalry... Yeah day of the season Mm -hmm. first time we did fight hunt this time rocky mount northern nash will be right here for you on friday night Mm -hmm. um calling the calling the match yeah that could be for big playoff seating implications (sighs) it could be the chance for one of them to stay in the playoffs at this point you oh you mean the state playoffs? Oh, I'm talking any playoffs, state playoffs. Uh, well, the Big East everybody goes to the Big East tournament. Well, everybody goes to the Big East tournament for the Rocky Mountain Griffons, especially right now though. They could be fighting for their playoff lives. Let me say we don't know what Northern's done. No, but the Griffons we know sitting at three and five, mm-hmm. and with two tough games next week, they could be fighting for everything yes. when we see them next Friday night. Mm-hmm. Ed, anything to add about tonight? No, just fantastic display by Fike. Great, great come from behind win that looks maybe to propel them the next mm-hmm. two weeks. Folks, once again, uh, before we go off the air, the sources are reporting Chris Lee going to be the new yes. head coach at Nash Central. Mm-hmm. That's big news around the area. Huge. Congratulations to Chris great, Lee. Great hire. Uh, great hire by Nash Central, hopefully getting that program back mm-hmm. on track. Ed, we're not too far away from doing a live show again one day. No. should be about three, three weeks away. Three weeks. About three weeks to go. <laughs> yep. Three, right. three, three more weeks of games, and then we will be live in studio. And that will be our uh, first, uh, first week of – Playoff recap. We'll call the Elmwood Sports Show a great excite. Maybe not in that ever again. I'm sorry. I won't ever do that. Okay. Uh, Ed. Yes. Big thanks tonight to the man who uh, flips the switches. Yes. One name producer, Lee. He's Fantastic. not Brazilian, but he's still a one name no, producer. Uh, of course, our executive producer. Uh, no, we're executive producer. Oh, we're executive. Okay. Technical producer? Just producer. What do we call him at Manus? Just a producer. I'll just call him pain in my rear side, but okay. Uh, producer yeah. Desmond McManus, big thanks to him. The man behind the camera, we call him Deuce. He kept us totally honest tonight. Clint Williams, to peace extent. up. A-town down, Deuce. Thank you for giving that uh, old throwdown for Usher. Executive producer, Greg Green. Executive producer, Wes Bradshaw. We are your hosts here on the All New Sports Show. Of course, you can get the All New Sports Show on Twitter at? On, at All New Sports Show. You can get you at? 
Edward Green. You can get me at. West Bradshaw 21. You can get us on Facebook at. All New Sports Show. Um, Instagram, All New Sports Show. YouTube, The All New Sports Show. Email us, allnewsportshow at gmail.com. Letters and parcels. We do not have Pinterest. We're never going to have Pinterest. 1701 Sunset Avenue, local. Suite 201, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, 27804. Letters and parcels. There's a podcast. There's a podcast. Go to podbean.com or Stitcher Radio or Spreaker or iHeartRadio or iTunes or Stitcher. Who's our new network? NGSC Sports, NGSCSports.com, where we never stop. We never stop, but we are stopping here because we're out of tape. I'm really tired, and Ed's ready to go home and watch our Japanese anime. I am. For Edward Green. Cowboy Bebop. I'm Wes Bradshaw. We see you right back here next week for another special edition of the all-new sports show on WHIG-TV.